Hey everybody, how we doing today? Jordan here with Farm Builder coming at you again. Um, last couple videos I put up certainly brought the comments uh, out of the trees and uh, some of them that YouTube filtered out I maybe should share with you guys sometimes, but there's some real haters out there. Um, actually have laughed a lot at some of the ridiculous comments coming from, uh, let's just say, some sympathizers of the other side of the conflict. So... Good stuff there. We're back at it with farming stuff. But I figured I would tackle another um, maybe sacred cow, possibly uh, misapplied guru in the farming space. Give you my opinion on it. Certainly let me know what you guys think. And that is, <clears throat> a drum roll please, da -da 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 -da, Dave Ramsey. So if you are not familiar with Dave Ramsey, he is a uh, self-help financial guru who um, is very popular in uh, especially the evangelical Christian circles, which I grew up in. I actually first saw Dave Ramsey back in 2002 uh, or three, I think. I went to one of his shows, drank deeply from the fountain of Dave Ramsey Kool-Aid for many years. And his uh, premise is debt-free living, that you should never have debt for anything. Uh, ideally, not even your house, although he makes some accommodations for that, but not in business nothing and you know advocates the envelope system where you put money in for you know your monthly budget and and all that and there's nothing wrong with that i think there are elements there that are very good to help build financial discipline the issue i have and i see this commented in posts all the time talking about farm financing is someone say oh it's a dave ramsey program we do dave ramsey with the farm that is extremely difficult to do with a production based business so if you look at something uh, like what Dave has is a service oriented business where they are selling a service to customers and so you know it doesn't matter if you sell 10,000 CDs or a million uh, CDs or DVDs of you know certain program um, you can turn that order around and <clears throat> just order more DVDs as fast as they're selling out the door. The, the turnaround time on an order to production to fulfillment can be all in the same day, especially when you go to digital downloads. It doesn't matter how many uh, are ordered. They can be distributed with a minimal cost in production. The problem when you get into enterprise level agriculture, let's say, is that you have so much capital engaged into the enterprise, whether you own the farm or not, but even just in the animals that are in the field, the equipment that you're using to do it, the feed that you're ordering, the processor that you're using for meat, and so on and so on, that it becomes very difficult to flow all of that on a cash only basis. There, there could be a month where you are outlaying 50 to $100,000 in expenses, and then that could be followed up by a month that's half that. And when you are a, let's just say, you know, a, a dyed in the wool, true blue believer in Dave Ramsey, you have to have an insane amount of cash laying around to hand out or write checks for all of these things. Um, Dave would not even uh, approve of having a credit card that you revolve on a monthly basis that has a high limit, say like twenty, thirty thousand dollars where you're putting all of your expenses on there as you're going along, your employees are, uh, and then you're paying it at the end of the month. That doesn't even fly in the Dave Ramsey camp. <clears throat> There's a couple other things though to also uh, consider. We start talking about farm finance, and excuse me for a second here. <coughs> unfiltered video right there. We're not even going to edit that out. Um, the, the side about business finance that maybe is not discussed as much on Dave's show because it's not about business, it's about retail finance and personal finance, is the way that you use your capital inside of a business. It, let's say you have uh, $50,000, let's say. You can use that to pay every expense as you're going along and you are constantly refilling this uh, kitty of $50,000 to keep this fat amount of cash around to pay for all these variable expenses that are coming in. But that amount of money on hand is costing you a lot of money. What do I mean by that? Well, say you had something like um, some crop or animal that is producing a net margin of 25% a year. 
So that means that $50,000, if you had that in pigs or in cows or in produce, if that's what you do, that $50,000 at 25% would be making you an additional, uh, oh, it's 25% of 50, dollars uh, $15,000. That's money, that capital should be making you inside your business, but you are keeping it uh, tied up in a liquid state in order to revolve your cash expenditures on a continual basis. Um, that's a lot of cash to have laying around as well, and I would be concerned about that. There are other things as well. If you are using a company credit card, it's a lot secure for transactions between companies, or if you're ordering from Amazon or an online supplier, plus you are getting a lot of these cards are offering a cash back kind of thing where you know, we can get back one to two percent of everything that we spend and if you're putting twenty thirty thousand dollars on plastic every month that's something that you can pile up for vacation and dave likes to make a joke of course that well no millionaire says i became a millionaire with my with my cash back points of course because that's not the point of it but you can take a very nice family vacation on that kind of money every year so these are things to consider when you're bringing the dave ramsey uh school of thought over into a production-based business model that it is very hard for someone who's not already very wealthy to make that jump where the only nest egg that you may have because of your your subscription to his philosophy you are now keeping in a cash status to pay your bills instead of engaging it into the enterprise and paying your monthly expenses out of cash flow and having a little bit in reserve. Of course, there is discretion in all of this. There is you know, a need for wisdom and there's dichotomy. Don't go out and blow every dollar you have, but think very deeply before taking what is a personal finance philosophy and bringing that over into a business philosophy. They are two very different mindsets that you need to learn between personal and business when that business is a production-based business and not a service-based uh, business, which is what Dave Ramsey does. The last thought I had on this was, if you are struggling with personal finance to the level where you need that much discipline imposed upon yourself in order to keep your bills paid and food on the table and uh, you know have five bucks left before the next paycheck kind of thing. I see it very commonly happen, employees that we've had and other people that you know they go out and party like a rock star uh, after payday and have no money left four days before the next payday. If you are struggling with that level of finance and you do not have, frankly, that level of discipline in your personal finance, you more than likely have no business trying to manage a enterprise level farm and the financial responsibilities and decisions that need to be made in order to be successful. So something to think about. Again, I'm gonna rock the boat here, tackle some controversial topics. Who should we go after next? Uh, what guru or philosophy would you like me to give a, a, a opinion on and take take on in a, a video down the road? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for being here, guys. We'll be back to farm videos here shortly. Got some stuff in the works. Appreciate you hanging out here. And remember, on your farm especially, spring is coming. It's time to go out there and get after it.